Hi there, my name is Brad Pilon, and this is your free introduction to the Eat Stop Eat style of intermittent fasting. Now you're probably wondering, you know, why is Brad Pilon talking about fasting? Well, to start, I'm an internationally recognized intermittent fasting advocate, and I'm the author of Eat Stop Eat. Eat Stop Eat is probably the internet's best-selling book on the science behind intermittent fasting. It was the first book on the scene in 2006, and it's been going strong ever since. So this isn't just a passing fad for me. Intermittent fasting is everything I study when it comes to nutrition. In this free presentation, I'm going to show you how you can change your body and your life with intermittent fasting, just like these people did. These are real emails from real people. This is David. He lost 25 pounds in three weeks. This is Michelle. She lost 12 pounds in less than a month. And here's George. He lost 25 pounds in four months. Now, the important part isn't the actual number of pounds they lost, because let's face it, everyone is different. What's important was how easily they changed their bodies. All right, so you're probably thinking, why intermittent fasting? Well, it's simple, because it works, and it works for the long term. And aren't long-term results what we all really want? Yeah, I think they are. Look, the issue that prevents most would-be dieters from seeing long-term weight loss results, it's not their metabolism or their genetics. Rather, it's usually a matter of diet compliance. Can you actually stay on the diet long enough to see results? The simple truth, it's very hard to change the way you eat. And you know this, and I know this. The food you like to eat, the foods you crave, the times you want to eat, and the reasons you want to eat are highly linked to your environment, your upbringing, and the circumstances of your life. So changing them can be extremely difficult. And herein lies a major problem with traditional dieting. When you eventually mess up, I mean even a little bit, it makes you feel like a failure. Even though all you did was eat. And let's face it, negative reinforcement, well it just doesn't work when it comes to dieting. Nobody wants to feel like a failure, especially when all you did was eat a cookie. This is why intermittent fasting has been incredibly successful at helping so many people lose weight and change their bodies. Instead of setting you up for a long, slow march to the inevitable end of feeling like a failure, it gives you the opportunity for multiple small wins throughout the weeks and months. And everybody likes winning. That's positive reinforcement. And when it comes to dieting, positive reinforcement works. It makes dieting simple. Just look at what Colin says. He points out in his email that intermittent fasting is something you get excited about because it works and because it's based on the concept of positive reinforcement. Multiple small wins. All right, so what is intermittent fasting? Okay, well, let's start off with my simple definition of fasting. The act of willingly abstaining from some or all food, and in some cases drink, for a predetermined period of time. Okay, so the key word here, a couple of them. Intermittent simply means that you're fast in an on and off fashion. You could choose to fast once or twice a month, once or twice a week, every other day, or even every single day. Now, on occasion, people use the term fast to describe a low calorie diet that's limited to certain type of foods. You've probably heard terms like juice fasting or fruit fasting or even fat fasting. Uh, the key here is that these are low calorie diets, not true fasts. In my opinion, a true fast is when you're doing everything you can to keep calories as low as possible for a predetermined amount of time. Now, this is key predetermined amount of time. With a fast, you know when it's going to end. And that's extremely important because it plays into the whole idea of having small multiple wins. You've set a small goal that you're not going to eat for a certain amount of time, and then you strive to reach that goal. Okay, so you're probably thinking, well, what, what can I have if I'm fasting? Well, you can have water, black coffee, black tea, herbal and green teas, diet soda in moderation, sparkling water, or any drink that is zero calories. Now, sugar free gum is also permitted in small doses. I wouldn't recommend three packs a day, but uh, a stick or two a day, not gonna ruin your fast. Okay, so a fact. Fasting is the simplest method our body has for maintaining its calorie balance. Store a little energy when we eat in excess, burn a little energy when we don't eat. It's as simple as that. Here's another fact. Fasting, is a very simple approach to getting and staying lean that revolves around the idea that it's okay to take occasional break from eating every now and again, because really that's all we're doing, occasional breaks from eating. 
Now, intermittent fasting is a style of eating where you perform a short-term fast, followed by a period of eating, followed by more fasting. Generally, intermittent fasting involves fast for no longer than 72 hours and really no longer, sorry, no shorter than 12 hours. It sounds kind of weird at first, possibly even difficult, but everyone who tries it is blown away with how easy it feels, almost natural, and it feels good too. That 12 hour to 72 hour window, and 72 hours is usually much farther than I recommend, so that kind of one day range is something that most people can do and actually learn to enjoy. Now, me personally, through my research, I found that 24 hours is the most practical form of intermittent fasting for the purpose of losing body fat while maintaining lean muscle. However, I mean, there is still benefits of fasting for as little as 12 hours, and sometimes even for as long as 72 hours. But for most people, 24 hours is a good target, especially when performed once or twice a week. That's the sweet spot. Look, the bottom line is that most people can fast for 16 to 30 hours, but not everyone can fast for 48 to 72 hours. Longer fasts may simply be too much for people who are very lean. So I'd rather see you lose weight slowly and consistently then try to push the envelope and burn out on fasting with longer fasts. I mean, a 72-hour fast may get you eight pounds of weight loss in three days, but chances are you're going to want to really eat after that, and you're not going to look forward to your next fast. And remember, we're looking for multiple small wins here. We don't want to burn out in our very first attempt. Now, I suggest 24 hours once or twice a week. But the point is, if they're intermittent fasting and resistance training while keeping your diet flexible, you're doing eat, stop, eat. Now, you may be wondering, okay, if intermittent fasting is so great, well then why aren't we all doing it? And which is a great question. And let me reveal a little secret here. Lots of people are using intermittent fasting to get in ridiculously good shape. Eat, stop, eat has been a driving force behind dozens of transformation contest winners. Hollywood celebrities and MMA fighters have been using IF for years to get lean. And chances are, intermittent fasting might just be the dirty little secret of some very well-known weight loss television shows. Truth be told, intermittent fasting isn't as rare or unique as you might think. An amazing amount of people are using it to lose weight. Now, they're not just losing weight. They're getting other really cool benefits too. For one, the weight loss is from their body fat. And that's very important because losing body fat is associated with a whole host of positive health improvements, including decreased inflammation. Eating less and losing body fat decreases the inflammation in your body. And low-grade chronic inflammation, I believe, is going to be the health topic of the future. Bottom line is that inflammation, especially when left unchecked, is associated with a whole host of diseases. And inflammation can be reduced by reducing body fat and eating less through intermittent fasting. You can also improve your metabolic profile by fasting once or twice a week. And you can improve insulin sensitivity, which is so important in so many people these days. Lastly, a reduced need for obsessive compulsive eating. With intermittent fasting, you take your, your weekly dieting and you chunk it into one or two days per week, which means on the other days, you can eat sensibly, but eat in the style you enjoy, eating the foods you like. This reduces the need to be obsessive compulsive about your eating. No setting your watch to eat every couple hours, no pre-measuring all of your food, no walking around with a purse or you know, bag full of Tupperware containers of chicken breast and broccoli. You can avoid that approach to dieting with intermittent fasting. Okay, and while these benefits are impressive to say the least, the vast majority of people have fallen prey to some of the vicious slander that has plagued fasting for years. Okay, luckily, that's all it is, slander. Now, the most devastating slander that tends to hit intermittent fasting is the idea that fasting, even for just a couple hours, will somehow slow down your metabolism and cause you to lose precious muscle mass. And these are two things considered devastating in the world of health and fitness. Luckily, in my review of fasting, which was the topic of my graduate studies, I found that most of the science behind fasting directly contradicts all of this nonsense. In chapter eight of Beat Stop Beat, I cover the large volume of research that shows that being in a fasted state for short periods of time, again, we're talking 12 to 72 hours, will not decrease your resting metabolic rate. This is true for both men and women, 
young and old, obese and lean. Your resting metabolic rate, meaning the amount of calories you burn without exercise, remains stable even after 72 hours of not eating. Now, the other interesting thing I discovered is while it is true that long-term drastic calorie restriction on its own can cause you to lose muscle mass, I mean, just think of hospital patients who are on low-calorie diets and bedridden, eat, stop, eat, and intermittent fasting doesn't do this. In chapter 11 of Eat, Stop, Eat, I discuss the research that shows us that the combination of caloric restriction, fasting, with resistance exercise, lifting weights, has been proven to be very effective at preserving your muscle mass. So if you read Eat, Stop, Eat, you will see that there's an abundance of research showing that short periods of fasting do not slow down your metabolism, and when combined with resistance training, will not cause you to lose muscle mass. So take that, slanderers. Interestingly, these two facts are actually related. The exact same metabolic adaptations that occur during fasting that allow you to burn fat without lowering your metabolism are also the adaptations that allow you to keep your muscle while you're dieting. In chapter 14 of Eat Stop Beat, I've reviewed research showing that men on a prolonged, extremely low calorie diets do see reduced testosterone levels. Now keep in mind, by prolonged, I mean years. And really, we already knew this was part of the reason why overly restrictive long-term diets tend to fail. But see, I was skeptical when I heard the claim that fasting could decrease testosterone, because we know that fasting is not associated with muscle mass losses, short-term fasting anyways. So something didn't seem to be adding up here. Firstly, and most obvious to me, was that I had done extensive research on testosterone for a patent I was working on back when I was employed in the supplement industry. So I knew that testosterone levels are actually highest during the morning after an overnight fast. These levels will be 20 to 30% higher than testosterone levels found during the evening. So after thoroughly reviewing the research, I found that short-term fasting does not negatively affect testosterone levels. However, it is true that more prolonged periods of fasting do tend to be associated with slight decreases in testosterone. Like a 58-hour fast has been noted to cause reduced morning serum testosterone measurements in men. However, it's important to note that these measurements are still within the normal range. But I should mention, this is part of the reason why I'm a big advocate of 24-hour fasting, and rarely do I suggest going for much longer than that. We know for sure that 24 hours of fasting is not associated with any giant drops in testosterone. And the fact that short-term fasting does not decrease testosterone is important for two big reasons. Firstly, it's an important step in preventing any loss of muscle mass. And secondly, testosterone plays an important role in fat loss, as do the next couple hormones we're going to talk about. So another anabolic hormone that actually has potent fat loss effects is growth hormone, otherwise known as GH. Many people think that GH is only secreted at night or that's only responsible for like linear growth, how tall you become. But nothing could be farther from the truth. One of growth hormone's most important roles in your body is allowing fat loss to occur. The role of growth hormone in fat loss is covered extensively in chapter 15 of Eat Stop Eat. However, I'm going to give you a brief review right now. In order for you to lose your body fat, a couple things need to happen. Your fat must be released from its storage spot, our body fat, transported through our system in our blood, and get to a cellular engine where it's burned as a fuel source. Typically, this is in your muscles or organs. Once this fat is burned, it's gone, forever. Obviously the most important step in this whole process is your fat needs to be released from the prison that's your body fat. For fat to be released from your fat stores, two things have to happen. Insulin levels must be decreased, and growth hormone levels must be increased. So how do you boost your GH levels so your fat can be released? Fasting, of course. Fasting for as little as 24 hours has been shown to drastically reduce your insulin levels while increasing your growth hormone levels. And it is this growth hormone response to fasting that also makes sure you don't lose any muscle while you fast. The increase in growth hormone is a protective response that makes sure that you burn excess body fat while you're fasting as a way to preserve your muscle mass. To be clear, in as little as 12 to 14 hours of fasting, your fat burning increases, helping your body use body fat as a fuel. 
And between 14 and 18 hours, fat burning starts to skyrocket. By 24 hours, you're burning almost all body fat as a fuel source. And pay attention to what I just told you, because while I explain the research behind this needs to be, the point remains we do not, do not burn our muscles first when we start fasting. This is a horrible fitness nutrition fallacy that gets repeated over and over, but is, is not true. The chances of you feeling lightheaded and woozy while you fast are actually pretty slim. In chapter 13 of Eat Stop Eat, I'll explain why there is very little chance of you suffering from a low blood sugar episode while doing a 24 hour fast. Now something I gotta point out here is just like any other day in your life, you're gonna have good days and bad days when you're fasting. Just like you have good days and bad days when you're not fasting. Here's the beauty of Eat Stop Eat. I want you to always be flexible and roll with it. If you're having a horrible fast, Stay flexible. You can always stop your fast and try it again a little later on when you're feeling better. You do not have to be rigid with your fasting. So from this simple review of the research behind Yusopi, we can see that intermittent fasting won't decrease your metabolism, it won't cause you to lose precious muscle mass, you're not going to see episodes of low blood sugar, and while well, you're going to have good days and fat, bad days with fasting, hopefully you have way more good days than you do bad days. Fasting will cause you to lose body fat. And as long as you don't go crazy with how much you eat on the days you're not fasting, this fat loss will be as permanent as fat loss can be. So what makes Eat, Stop, Eat style of intermittent fasting different? Well, the premise behind Eat, Stop, Eat is that the key to successful intermittent fasting is to fast in a way that allows you to still fuel your workouts and be flexible with your day-to-day -day life. I like to think of it as making your diet fit into your life as opposed to making your life fit into your diet. So Aesop Eat is meant to be an easy weight loss solution. I mean, and who doesn't want easy weight loss? Based on this concept, I designed the Aesop Eat diet protocol to be what I consider or call a flexible form of intermittent fasting. It's designed so you can fast for 24 hours once or twice a week while still never going a day without eating. Aesop Eat should just about be, be about being flexible in general. This includes your diet on the days you're not fasting, and even your approach to fasting in general. Like I said earlier, if you're having a bad fast, you can stop. If you're having a great fast, you can go a little longer. It's all about maintaining that level of flexibility that allows you to have short-term consistent wins. And while it's completely possible to get really lean by eating super clean, I'm talking about timing your meals, preparing your foods in advance, all that kind of stuff, my goal is to help people get very lean while eating so-so clean lots of fruits, veggies, and the occasional Cinnabon or chocolate chip cookie. And here's the real benefit of Eat, Stop, Eat. I want you to eat that Cinnabon or that chocolate chip cookie guilt-free. With Eat, Stop, Eat lifestyle, we fast so we can enjoy our food when we do eat. In an odd sort of way, Eat, Stop, Eat is about eating, not fasting. And here's something that's really important, and it ties into everything we're talking about. With Eat, Stop, Eat, there's no mandate to stop eating the foods you love, to clean out your kitchen and to never eat carbs or fat again. There is no need for cheat days or binge days. I mean, you can do them if you want to, but they're not required eating. In fact, Eat, Stop, Eat does not involve any guilty feelings about food. And it does not use fasting as a form of punishment. Because with Eat, Stop, Eat, you're in complete control, and again, you're aiming for small, multiple wins. This isn't about negative reinforcement or punishing yourself. And here's a really cool thing about fasting and food. Many people report that food actually tastes better after a fast. So that's just another small win for us. In fact, of all the different ways in which you fast, I believe Eat, Stop, Eat takes the best advantage of the intermittent part of intermittent fasting. Because it allows you to stay flexible, it allows you to choose when you want to eat and when you want to fast. Now, Eat, Stop, Eat has been set up to be a form of intermittent fasting that is adaptable to almost any lifestyle. We have seen countless success stories from all different walks of life, from paramedics to fitness competitors, PhD students to army doctors. Even the most hectic life can have fasting fit into it. It is a highly adaptable aspect of Eat, Stop, Eat that allows people to use it to lose weight, and it's what allows them to keep the weight off for years afterwards. You can always find a way to fit in one or two 24-hour fasts in a week. And like I said before, don't worry if you can't fast for a full 24 hours every time. 
I'll be honest, 24 hours was chosen through my research simply because it was an easy time frame to remember, allowed people to eat every day, and was suitable for all different levels of body fat and weight loss needs. There is still benefit to fasting for 16 hours, just as there's no real harm to fasting for 30 hours. The point is, as long as you're fasting intermittently, while keeping your lifestyle flexible and doing it works for you, you're doing ESOP Eat and you're doing it right. So think along the lines of using intermittent fasting as a long-term strategy to help you get lean quickly, but also as a way to stay lean. I mean, that's ESOP Eat. By using flexible intermittent fasting, you basically take advantage of a metabolic loophole that allows you to increase your fat-burning hormones and treat the ideal fat-burning metabolism while still managing to eat every single day. I mean, when done properly, eat, stop, eat can even work while you sleep, and that's cool. Best of all, this fat loss is not associated with muscle loss. Lose fat, keep muscle, all while doing nothing. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than this. No cooking, no eating, no worrying about what you're going to eat and when you're going to eat. I mean, let's face it, removing this food thinking is a big chunk of stress that's just removed from your day and you're burning body fat. So less stress, less thinking, less body fat. In exchange for this super easy fat burning, you spend a little time lifting weights, which I mean, you really should be doing for the health benefits of exercise itself anyways. And you're trying to be somewhat responsible on the days that you are eating. I mean, that's it. That's the trade-off. Some weight training, some occasional breaks from eating, and a whole bunch of fat loss. Sounds fair to me. So if Eats Up Eats sounds like it could be the solution to your weight loss goals, and I'm willing to bet it is, then please click the button below, that big orange add to cart button right below this presentation. You know the one that says that also has my 60 day money back guarantee? That's the one I want you to click. What you will find when you purchase Eats Up Eat is an unbelievably comprehensive review of the research behind intermittent fasting, explained in a manner that is easy to understand Get pulls no punches. You also get my promise that every time Eat Sub is updated, it's on its fourth edition now, you'll get the new update for free. You will always be right up to date on the impressive research behind intermittent fasting because I make it my job to always make sure that Eat Stop Eat is the number one intermittent fasting resource available anywhere on the planet. So, do you want to know how to fast? and you don't care about the research or frequently asked questions or tips you, and, you know, how to make ETOP work for you, then all you need is a presentation. But if you want to know more about intermittent fasting, if you want to know how to use intermittent fasting in your life to get lasting weight loss results, then I highly suggest clicking on the button below. Because what you get is the smartest, most effective weight loss system you'll ever use. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to know people, you know, what kind of results people are getting, you get a wide variety of results. And I want you to meet some people who've used Eats Up Eat to drastically change their bodies. This is Alicia's before. This is Alicia now. Alicia's done an unbelievable job of completely redesigning her body using intermittent fasting and weight training. Here's George before. Here's George after. I mean, that is an impressive change in a waistline. Here's Blair. You want to see a great example of intermittent fasting not causing you to lose muscle? This is Blair now. Here's Felicity. Here's the new Felicity. Here's David. Here's David now. That's some serious muscle tone. And check out Anna. Anna before, Anna now. Or how about Al? This is Al before. Look at Al now. He looks like he could compete. Cassandra before. Barely recognize Cassandra now. Claus before. Claus now. This is Scott before, and you may not believe me, but this is Scott now. If you think Scott was impressive, this was Marcelo before. Are you ready? This is Marcelo now. He could be 10 years younger. Brooks before, Brooke after, looking like she should be on the cover of Shape Magazine. Darren before, Darren after, Katie before, and then Katie's phenomenal after. All these people use some form of intermittent fasting.
to help them completely redesign their body in a way that was simple and effective. So again, if you want to get the smartest, most effective weight loss system you'll ever use, go ahead, click the Add to Cart button below.